Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Again, everybody, back in action with the 1987 Super Mod. I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation all month long for the month of June. And tonight, the WWF is in Madison Square Garden, and we are recording an episode for MSG Network. That's right. So let's click on MSG. We're going to use this broadcaster. We're going to save. The selection, and we are ready to rock and roll here, everybody. Uh, nobody's out, but who we expect. Let's see with backstage incidents. Looks like we got some protege action going on here with Strongbow and Mancini, Savage, and Dusty Wolf. Look at that hair. Look at the puffiness of that mullet. That's a thing of beauty. And uh, Ventura with Dave Wagner. Now, as we know, these cards are pretty huge. And we've got a full card here tonight. So, this is the real card. Outside of the dark matches, this is the real card. This is the exact real card that we saw. So, in real life, this show is happening about two weeks later than it is in the game. So... That's why Rick Rude is going to be on television here, because he made his debut midway through. You know what? This is actually, this is pretty spot on. Yeah, Rick Rude has technically in real life made his television debut already, but he, so he's on TV for us. He's actually making his TV debut here on the MSG show, but regardless, you know, it's just a, Heads up for you. So we're going to have two dark matches. We're going to see the Rockers in action. We're also going to see Bam Bam Bigelow. And then moving on to the main card, we're going to see Brady Boone versus Dino Bravo. Hillbilly Jim is going to battle Butch Reed. Outback Jack is going to wrestle the Outlaw, Ron Bass. Jerry Allen will wrestle Ravishing Rick Rude. Brutus, the Barber Beefcake, will face Greg the Hammer Valentine. Nikolai Volkov is going to mix it up with Tito Santana. We're once again they're going to see Rick Martel versus one of the Islanders here. Tom Zank has left, and Tito Santana has not become his partner yet. We are going to see Ricky Steamboat versus the Honky Tonk Man for the Intercontinental Heavyweight title. And in our main event here, everybody, we are going to see the British Bulldogs challenge the Hart Foundation for the World Tag Team title. So with all that said, let's get to booking. Opening up with that dark match. And here we go. Five minutes. And we have Jose Martinez and Ricky Reed. So Martinez and Reed versus the Rockers. And Martinez, of course, is also known as El Bracero. So here is Jose Martinez. 
Here is Ricky Reed. And here are the Rockers, who I think in real life were gone already by now. I think they got themselves fired, but they're holding on with us. They've only gotten themselves in a little bit of trouble. All right, so this one's booked. And up next, we have Bam Bam Bigelow in his dark match. And he is facing... Who is Bigelow facing here? Steve Gatorwolf. The man that the WWF had plans for. And then, in the words of Ernie Ladd, dump, dumbed himself out of position. <laughs> so here is Steve Lombardi. Here is Bam Bam Bigelow. Bigelow with the W here, everybody. And that one's all set. We forgot to mark this one as a dark match. And we also forgot to set the commentators. Uh, offhand, they don't recall. I'm glad I remembered that. So we have Monsoon and Alfred Hayes. So we can make the adjustment now. Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. This one's saved. Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. This one's saved. And here we go on to the main card where we are opening up with Boone versus Bravo. Going to be a six-minute bout, a quickie. Boone versus Bravo, and of course, Brady Boone is putting Dino Bravo over. A lot of these shows are on YouTube. Check them out. They are awesome. They felt like big events. Like there was just the atmosphere I've never been to New York. I've been around the country. I've been around the world. I've never been to New York. I've never been to New York City. I've never been to Manhattan. I've never been to Madison Square Garden. But when you watch these old wrestling shows from Madison Square Garden from the 80s and the 70s, it gives you chills. I mean, it's, it was a big deal. It felt like a huge event. All right, we have Hillbilly Jim versus... Butch Reed. So we have Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and Nunn. Here is Hillbilly Jim. Here's Butch Reed. And Butch Reed is going to win. But of course, he's going to win with the help of his manager, the Doctor of Style, Slick. The guy was great. <laughs> All right, Honky Talk Man is going to cut a promo here. Six minutes, Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. So here we go, Honky Talk Man cuts a promo. And here is Honky. He's talking to Gene Okerlund. And he's talking about Ricky Steamboat. And for those of you that may be too young, Honky Tonk Man was one heck of a promo, everybody. He really was. All right, here's Outhouse Jack. I mean, out back Jack. He's in there against Ron Bass. And here is Outback Jack. Here is Ron Bass. Bass with the W here, everybody. And this one is in the books as the outlaw continues his winning ways here in the World Wrestling Federation. I just have to adjust. I almost forgot to do the commentators. All right, up next, Jerry Allen and Ravishing Rick Rude. They're going to go eight. Allen versus Rude. Let's adjust the commentators right away. Jerry Allen's getting some work in with us here. Here is Jerry Allen. Here is Rick Root. And like I said, outside of the two dark matches, this is the real card, everybody. As we've been doing with the save the whole time. Right, Rick Root with the win, and the ravishing one continues his winning ways. Right, Brutus Beefcake and Greg the Hammer Valentine. Beefer versus the Hammer, former World Tag Team Champions, are now... Engaged in a feud via Johnny V. 
And here is Brutus Beefcake. Here's Greg Valentine. And let's take another look here. So, so far we have two, three, four heel wins in a row. Let's get B for the win. It's going to come by DQ. And it's going to come because of Johnny V attacking Brutus Beefcake. That way the feud keeps going and everything makes sense and is good to go. All right, we're all set on that one. Ah, uh, I forgot the commentators, didn't I? I did. All right. No, I'm good. I'm smarter than that. See? I'm smart. I can do things. <laughs> Here's Nikolai Volkov. I believe another eight-minute match. We'll check here. It is Volkov versus Santana. And again, I am a huge Tito Santana fan. I'm a Nikolai Volkov fan, too. I just feel bad about how poorly written Tito Santana's book was. All right, and here is Tito Santana. Santana, everybody, is going to get the win here. We have Volkov adjusted here with his Bolsheviks picture, getting ready to make the debut on television as the team. All right, the Macho Man is going to cut a promo here, everybody. He's going to cut that promo on Jake Roberts. And Macho Man is not too far away from his babyface turn here. So here's Randy Savage. Here is Gene Okerlund. He's talking about that Jake the Snake Roberts. Roberts is off screen. Savage is based on entertainment. Okerlund is just there holding the stick, and we have to adjust the commentators. All right, we got that straightened out. Up next here is Tama. And Rick Martell once again. Tama versus Martell. Here is Tama. Here is Rick Martell. Just getting ready for that strike force connection. So we are going to have, well, I got to take a look at this. Yeah, we got to have Rick Martell win. And we're going to have Rick Martell get the win by DQ. All right, Martell gets the win. Up next here, we have Ricky Steamboat. And the Honky Tonk Man, how long are they going here? 14. Steamboat versus Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man, of course, is the reigning and defending Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. So we'll indicate that. And there we go. We're all set with the commentators, so I can't screw that up. Here's Ricky Steamboat. Here is Honky Tonk Man. Steamboat's going to get the win here, but it's going to come via count out. So the title does not change hands. And true to life, Honky Tonk Man is doing a lot of losing, but he keeps that title. That one's all set, and now we have our big Hulk Hogan promo. And it will be a big promo. Because it's Hogan in MSG, everybody. Here's the Hulkster. Here is Gene Okerlund in real life. These were all pre-recorded. And when the show aired, obviously these were plugged in. So there we go. Hogan with his big promo. Here comes our main event. And it is a big main event. And we have the Bulldogs versus the Hart Foundation. This one's going to go 16. Here's the British Bulldogs. 
Here are the Heart Foundation. We can auto name this one. And the heels, everybody, are going to get the win here. Bret Hart's going to get the win. This one can be an epic. All four men have the psychology for it. And this one's going to come via that pipsqueak in the words of Gorilla Monsoon. Jimmy Hart interfering. All right, this one's ready to go. Just over two hours. Good stuff. We're on MSG Network. Let's start the show. All right, Martinez and Reed against the Rockers. It does not go well for Martinez and Reed. The Rockers get the win here. 60-65 for the Rockers. The enhancement talent. So we got 45 total. Lots of green here. Green equals money. And the Rockers get the win with the Rocker Shocker. Bam Bam Bigelow wins over Steve Lombardi with that power bomb. 66 overall, 76 and a 51. And we got lots of green here, everybody. Up next, Brady Boone and Dini Dino Bravo. Bravo wins with that big side suplex. 81 on behalf of Bravo, who's been coming to Madison Square Garden since the 70s. And we got a 70 overall for a score. Hillbilly Jim and Butch Reed get a nice surprising 78. Hillbilly Jim is over. That's why he's got such a high of a score here. And uh, I have a hard time believing that Butch Reed would have Gorilla pressed Hillbilly Jim, but hey, anything's possible. All right, up next here, we have a good Honky Tonk Man promo here. 82 overall, lots of green. Green again equals money. Outback Jack against Ron Bass, 64 and a 33, gets us a 44. And Ron Bass continues his winning ways here with the inverted suplex slam. Up next, Jerry Allen and the Ravishing One, and Rick Root, of course, wins with that Root Awakening. And it's public now. He's on television. Everybody knows that he is in the WWF now. And he and Bobby Heenan have some good chemistry together. 71 overall for that one. Beefcake versus Valentine. And Beefcake, of course, wins by DQ after Johnny V attacks him in the match against Valentine. 79 overall for this one. Good stuff. 79, 71, and a 79. Really good stuff. So that uh, storyline continues to heat up. All right, up next, ooh, Volkov got some fractured ribs, which is hard to believe because everybody says Tito Santana was a total professional and light as a feather. But either way, Santana wins with the flying forearm, 84 and a 77. Somehow only gets us a 78. It's got to be due to the injury, and it is. Fair enough. All right, up next here, we have Randy Savage nailing a 100 promo here with Mean Gene. Good stuff. Lots of green here. Lots of green. Looking good. All right, up next here, Tama and Rick Martell. Rick Martell gets an outstanding score of 91. Tama only a 54. And we get an 82 overall for this one as Martell wins by, disqualif excuse me, by disqualification. Steamboat and Honky Tonk Man land a 90 here. Lots of green. Green equals money. And Steamboat, of course, is putting in the uh, fair share of work here with a 97. Honky Tonk Man with an 81. That's good stuff. 90. Overall, everybody, let's see what the takeaways are. Short match length. BS. Overwhelmed by manager. BS. Lots of BS in this one. Hogan gets himself a 100 promo also. Now you see why I put the Steamboat, or why I put the uh, Savage and Hogan promos on these cards? There's a reason, and that's the reason why, right there. And again, you people, some of you are going to say, you're cheating! No, Hulk Hogan was a 100 promo out of Madison Square Garden. And that's just a fact. All right, let's go to our main event here. And our main event gets an outstanding 99 score. Great stuff. The Hearts win with the Heart Attack after the interference from Jimmy, from Jimmy Hart. So the baby faces don't lose any shine here. The heels look more heel-like than ever. They retain the World Tag Team title, and we just have one heck of a great feud between these two teams, and these two teams just have excellent, excellent chemistry together. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up, and we've got a 97 overall, and somehow that doesn't get us a popularity change, which is pretty surprising. Um, let's point out Ricky Steamboat. Let's point out Rick Rude. And then I would also like to point out 
Rick Martell. So three Ricks. Ricky Steamboat, excellent performance. Martell, great performance. And Rude, a good performance. There we go. Ricky Steamboat is pleased. Rick Rude is pleased. And Martell is happy. So we got three Ricks. And everything's looking good. All right, so this one is also in the books, which will bring us back to our tour on Tuesday, which is going to take us upstate to Utica, New York. Good stuff. And we'll see what lies in store for us. J.R. Bundy, the man that was J.R. Bundy, I, I just heard, uh, just passed away a few weeks ago. I saw that online. So, yes, we got ourselves a sellout. Yep. 20,000 strong sellout. That's good stuff. Lack of big names, though. Hurt the attendance. <laughs> Primetime Wrestling, 6.3 million viewers. 8.47 rating. Outstanding. And MSG Show gets us almost 1.2 million viewers. Again, excellent stuff. Brady Boone is tired. Nikolai Volkov is hurt. And we are back on the main screen here. Just a quick look at the competition here. Ric Flair over Tim Horner gets a 100. Oof, that's a little ridiculous. All right, that is going to do it for us, everybody. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave us a message below. Let us know you found the channel, what you think of us so far. For those of you that can't get enough of the 1987 Supermod, head on over to Patreon, patreon.com. Slash Powercast Network. And for just $5, everybody, you can get access to version 10.1 of the Supermod. You can get all of our shows early and YouTube ad free. You can get access to all of our spreadsheets and so much more. Check it out today, everybody, for just $5. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Last but not least, you can check us out on social media, Facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. We're also on Discord under 1987 Supermod. Also, be sure to join Wrestling Fans International Association. It is 100% free, and the website is the WFIA.org. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time.